Hello my friends and welcome back to the Deep Tarot. This reading is for Venus sign in Virgo. If your Venus sign is in Virgo, this is your reading. Before we start, I want to thank you so much for your help and support with my new channel. Deeply appreciate your help. So, eight cards on the floor, one outcome. Let's start. First card, your person, personality. Mm. How do they feel about you? How do they see your personality? How do they see your appearance? Is this person from the past or new? What's their intentions towards you? What they want to do, what they will do, and one outcome. Oh. By the way, this are, I mean, you are the last in the Venus signs readings. Starting from tomorrow, I'm going to do November. I think I'm going to start with water signs, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. One card for the outcome. Let's see. This person, personality. This person, I know this card is about conflict, but I don't think, I'm, I'm not feeling that in today, in here. I feel this person had a previous relationship and it's over. This person left the relationship and took everything to himself. Like if this was a marriage that this person took everything, the other one left without anything. Or if it's not a marriage, it's a work situation. Like, and this person had partners, he took everything. The partners are out. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't feel a good vibe from this person. This person may be not the worst on earth, but they, they follow like their interest. They don't go anywhere till they feel that they have there is something to gain from there, if I'm explaining myself right. This person like to win. And he will use, like, let's say, not clean ways to take what he want. He doesn't, it doesn't matter for them if they will destroy anyone around them to win. They don't care. Okay. How do they feel about you? They are thinking about you. But I feel with this card, this type of thinking is that this person is planning for something. Maybe they are trying to attract you energetically, sending you kind of a energy um, this person I don't think this person will send any energy to anyone this person is not spiritual at all this person is sending you like is planning to reach you this person is planning this person, I don't feel that this person is a spiritual person. 
I don't know. Let's see. Maybe right now you don't talk to this person. This person is like they are preparing themselves, preparing the situation to come towards you. Maybe you know this person from the past or maybe they are a new interest to you. But uh, yeah. There is there is a kind of a strategy this person is trying to do. What about your personality in their eyes? You are the wheel of fortune for them. You are the wheel of fortune so they know they there is something you hold is very precious and they want it because of this they are planning to come to you how do they see your appearance you tamed the beast you are very strong very attractive you can, you are so beautiful. So, and they feel about you that you can control any situation you want. But if this person like, see you this way, I don't know what type of strategy they will play with you. You're so strong. I don't think they can fool you. I don't think they can. Is this person from the past or new? This person is a new love interest, but this person is somebody you know. This person is not totally new to you. You know this person. Maybe from a very long time when when you were kids, maybe, you know this person, but there was no relationship. Or if there was a relationship, that was a very long time ago. Very long time ago. Maybe like when you were in school, in college, living in the same area, when you were kids, something like that. Like, I think, you know this person from the past when you were kids. Maybe you were in the same school, you were neighbors. Yeah. But I think you didn't see that person from a very long time. If this person is from your past and you didn't see them from a very long time, you will... This person is completely different than the one you used to know. Totally different person. I don't feel that this person is innocent or honest. As I told you from the beginning, I felt a bad vibes from this person. Okay, what's their intentions towards you? This is the Six of Cups. This is about love and soulmate, twin flame situations, relationships. But what, how I feel from this card here with their intentions, they will come to you trying to remind you of what happened between you both before the memories, pretending that they hold the same feelings like before. Well, forgive me to say this, they are not. They are after the fortune that you have. Maybe you are very successful in your work. You hold a bit, you are in a big position. Uh, long story short, this person wants something you have. 
they will come holding the cup, but they have the sword behind their backs. Maybe they will not be like they will not be very bad towards you or they don't want to harm you in any way but what they are after is not your heart what they are after it's either your pocket or your wall i mean your wallet or your position or maybe you are talented in something they want to invest in that so they will gain profit this person is after money they are not after love this is not love and these two I even though this is the king of cups and this is the six of cups but I don't feel that here I don't feel that this is this is love I feel that this person is pretending because this is their personality. This is their personality. This person is planning to come and sit on this wheel of fortune and make it turn in their favor. What they want to do, they want the Ten of Cups with you. I mean the Ten of Pentacles with you which is like a marriage, a success. They want the, see for me as a reader, 10 of pentacles is the highest level of stability. Unlike the 10 of cups, which is for me, the highest level of emotions. This person is after stability. What they will do, I think you will catch the game. I think you will know. Maybe in the beginning that you will believe them, but at the end you will know what this person wants. Okay, before we go to the outcome, I want to take another card on, on this Ten of Swords. I want to know what this, what they will do. Can we get one clarification for this Ten of Swords, please? The star. Mm. They want you. You are the star. I think I don't want to be very aggressive towards this person, but I think this person is after something else than your heart. I'm sorry to, to say that. This reading is about that. Maybe this is not for you. Maybe some of it is for you. Like take it as it resonates. But this reading is about the Five of Swords person. Let's see the outcome. See, it's a conflict. This person, unfortunately, doesn't have that a good intentions towards you. I think maybe they will, they will, uh, you will believe them in the beginning. Then after that, you will understand what they are after. So. But what makes me feel calm is that I believe that you will understand the situation. This person can't fool you. Can't fool you. You will know what they are after. 
So be careful, my friends. Be careful, open your eyes and think twice before you do anything. Thank you so much, my friends. I'm really sorry the reading came that way. Wish you all the best and I hope I'll talk to you soon. Bye.